Hello everyone, I'm Lloyd Miner, Dean of the Stanford School of Medicine, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the final session of the Pandemic Puzzle, Lessons from COVID-19. Over the past three months, we've hosted discussions and debates with the world's top leaders, scientists, and experts in the fight against COVID-19. We've examined the U.S. and global response, the pandemic's impact on health equity, and the systems we need to mitigate future pandemics. In so doing, we've unearthed no shortage of challenges and areas for improvement. But for today's session, we'd like to end on a hopeful note, because the future of biomedicine has never looked brighter. Drawing from decades of scientific research, COVID-19 vaccines were developed in record time and have saved countless lives. We achieved what many thought was impossible. How can we build on this watershed moment and advance vaccines, treatments, and cures of tomorrow? Thanks to you, we, we have been able to communicate some of the most important advances that have occurred from the pandemic. And that's what we're going to explore in today's program. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank our teams at Stanford Medicine and the Stanford Graduate School of Business for their tremendous effort in producing this symposium series. We've reached thousands of attendees from around the world thanks to the efforts of these teams. And we've explored some of the toughest questions about our post-pandemic future. And I'd be remiss not to thank former Stanford University trustee and longtime friend of Stanford, Brooke Byers, who served as an advisor throughout this project. Brooke, we sincerely appreciate all your support and guidance. I'll now invite John Levin, Dean of the Graduate School of Business and our symposium co-host to say a few words. John? Great. Thank you, Lloyd, and uh, welcome everyone to uh, the to the, uh, the, the fourth episode of the pandemic puzzle. This is our, our fourth and final uh, conversation today. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. And just to reiterate what Lloyd said, we spent much of the first uh, opening conversations talking about the challenges and vulnerabilities that were revealed by the pandemic and how we might prepare for the next one. And today we're gonna turn our attention to some of the exciting innovation and opportunity that was created by the pandemic. And many of those opportunities, whether they're in the area of vaccine development or therapeutics or digital health, are places that will require a combination of pioneering science, commercialization and business, government, regulation, and in some case incentives, and academic enterprise and creativity as well. And so today's session fittingly is going to bring together representatives from all those different sectors to talk about different dimensions of innovation and opportunity created by the pandemic around biomedicine and its application. And so with that, I will uh, turn it over to Lloyd, who is going to kick off our first fireside chat. And before I do that, I should say that during all of today's sessions, there's an opportunity for us potentially to take live questions. You can send in your questions using the online chat box that's at pandemicpuzzle.stanford.edu. And with that, I'll turn it over to Lloyd, who is going to uh, host the first fireside chat, which is with Acting FDA Commissioner Janet Woodcock. <laughs> 